Good morning, DP. If I haven't met you yet, I'm Mary Ziegler, your new assistant principal. I oversee athletics, activities, and all the arts. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some dance news. This weekend, we look forward to a huge crowd at our homecoming dance and hope to have a safe and fun environment for all. But I do have some guidelines that will help you make this a good experience. First of all, I wanna let you all know that we will have a breathalyzer on hand at the dance. So anybody who is suspected of being under the influence of alcohol will be pulled aside. We will breathalyze them. If they are found to be under the influence, unfortunately, we'll have to call your parents and there will be a suspension. In order to ensure that all students are comfortable on the dance floor, here are the eight guidelines for appropriate dancing. All students will receive a wristband upon entering the dance. If a student violates this dance policy, the wristband will be removed. If a student violates the dance policy a second time, he or she will be immediately removed from the dance without refund and his or her parents will be notified. School personnel will make the final decision concerning appropriate dancing. So DP, hope you guys come out to the homecoming dance this weekend and have a great time. Thanks, Ms. Siegler. If you guys follow the rules, I can assure you that you'll have a good time. Make sure to come out to the Greek to watch your homecoming court compete in the tug of war and the obstacle course. In other news, if you haven't gotten your homecoming ticket, they will be on sale today and tomorrow in the business office during lunch and after school. Tomorrow is Wear Red Day and Dressy Cowboy Day. So join us in Wearing Red to show your stand against alcohol and drug abuse. Join us during lunch to take the Red Ribbon Week pledge and compete in the Beer Goggle Challenge. Now let's go check out the rest of your homecoming nominees. Hi, I'm Cha-Cha and I'm a homecoming princess. Well, I mean, my plan is to marry Channing Tatum. So when I marry him, I will obtain his last name so I will be Channing Tatum. So I guess if I had to pick who I would want to be, it would be Channing Tatum. Well, in junior high, I was in a xylophone band and we toured around Santa Barbara and we made a CD. My name is Dan and I'm a homecoming princess. Superpower I would like to a choir would be baby, baby whispering because it comes, comes in handy when you're babysitting. My hidden talent is I can Spongebob laugh. Uh, da! <laughs> Hi, I'm Derek Abbott and I'm a homecoming prince. A celebrity that I would want to be is Paul Walker. Uh, my dream date would be Taylor Swift. I definitely like my eggs scrambled. I'm Martine and I'm a homecoming prince. If I, don't say so. If I had a pick a plan, it would be, hey girl, do you want to go to the library with me so I can check you out? Uh, my dream date would be Mariah Carey, because she has nice curves. My go-to dance move would be the honey dance. Hey, I'm Tabby, and I'm a homecoming princess. Are you a meal from McDonald's because you're Mick Gorgeous? <laughs> Out of chins ever. It was my impersonation of a llama. I'm a llama. Hi, my name's Addie and I am a homecoming princess. The superpower I'd want uh, would be to just like breathe underwater because you could just go anywhere. My best pickup line, well, I don't really know a lot because I don't get picked up on, but um, I Googled some, and one of them was, don't be scared if there's a big fat man that comes and takes you tonight. It's Santa, and I asked him to get you for me for Christmas. Hi, I'm Vincent Chen, and I'm a homecoming prince. Something abnormal about me is I'm from Texas. Uh, my go-to dance move is the toothbrush. Do I do, I do it? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Right. My, imperson my impersonation of a pterodactyl is... Hi, my name is Noah Glushenkoff, and I'm one of your homecoming princes. Like, hey babe, did you just fart? Because you blew me away. Hey babe, are you tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. How do I like my eggs? Ooh, if I were to have my eggs in any way, I'd have them sunny side up, you know, yolk, nice, nice, nice and juicy, with some bacon, mashed potatoes, with a side of sriracha sauce and sour cream. Oh my god, serve me some of that. Hey, I'm Stamatia, aka Stam, and I'm a homecoming princess. Okay. Well, a super a superpower I would like. I count this as a superpower. I would just become a wizard, because I can do it all. Like you could apparate 
and like perform spells and stuff, so I'd be a wizard like Harry Potter. Pick a line. My best pick up line is, um, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only pen I see. I'm Tyler Welch and I'm a homecoming prince. Best pick up line? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'd be like, be like, how much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. Hi, I'm Tyler Welch. <laughs> if I could be any celebrity, it'd be Channing Tatum because he gets girls. <laughs> Something abnormal about me is I have really white legs. Hi, I'm Negan, no, I'm Megan, no, I'm Avari, and I am your homecoming princess. Be invisible so I can cheat on every <laughs> single test I can pop. <laughs> I'm kidding. That is how you... Cheating is bad. My best pickup line would probably just go up to someone, look them in the eyes, and be like, how you doing? And then just go, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> All right. And Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm a homecoming prince. The superpower I would like is to be, to get invisibility. My dream date would be Scarlett Johansson from the movie Avengers. My impersonation of a panda is. My name's Emily and I am a homecoming princess. If I could have any superpower, I would pick to be able to breathe underwater. Something abnormal about me is that people think I look like Taylor Swift. <laughs> my dream date would have to probably be Paul Walker. I like my eggs scrambled with cheese and bacon. 